we want to talk about employees, how to hire, what we look for, and we're going to do that after this. Hiring, hiring, oh. If I had hair, I'd pull it out. Um, toughest job, toughest job there is, uh, employee interaction. When we first started, we, we assumed you wanna hire the best painters, right? You have a painting company, you wanna hire the best painters. You have a, a bakery, you wanna hire the best bakers. You have a, a, a construction company, you wanna hire the best construction workers. We were wrong, way wrong, way, way, way wrong. Where do we miss the boat? So you want to hire good people who share your vision, who share your values. You know, our values, I have them written down here, are, you know, accountability, dependability, commitment, and relationships. Um, they're the most important things to us. Uh, relationships, relationships with our customers, relationships with our clients. We want to have a relationship. We do not want to come to your house and paint it and you totally ignore us. That's not what we're looking for. We're looking for a relationship. We, I've made a lot of friends on paint jobs. Um, we've also met some people who um, I would not consider friends and we would not work for again. Um, but back to hiring. So when we decided to, to only hire based off of these, we totally changed this face of the company. Totally. Um, some people had to go. Some people were brought in. Um, and you know what? We saw profits go up. We saw the happiness go up in the office. Um, you know, it's a great feeling when you ask, uh, the, we ask a bunch of questions, but the one question we always ask in an interview is, what do you like best about being a painter or wanting to be a painter? And we, this is the answer I love. They'll say, I like when the job is over and I can turn around and see what I've done. I mean, that's awesome. And that's a good feeling. I know that same feeling. I, when I drive around town or go to a restaurant, I say to everybody, oh, I painted that. We painted this. You know, uh, John painted that. Steve painted this. Um, I mean, it's a good thing to, to do. It's a good feeling. So we, when we're hiring, are looking for great people first. Do you know how to paint? It doesn't really matter. We'll, we'll teach you. We have very specific ways of teaching our painters. Now we do mix them in with experienced painters. So we have painters, you know, lead painters, different levels of painters, and then we have apprentices. And the apprentices to me are very important. And that's my, my, uh, my most important thing in hiring that I'm interested in is hiring apprentices. I came from an apprenticeship program, uh, learning how to paint and painting next to really good, competent painters. Um, and we're trying to do the same thing. So we hire apprentices. Um, they learn how to paint next to our guys. They have a specific book that they have to have filled out by the, by the crew leader um, to make sure everything's going great. That's what we want. We want good people who want to be here. We don't want complainers. Complainers are fired. Uh, we're not going to listen to complainers. Life's too short. Uh, I don't want to listen to complainers. I don't want our staff to have to listen to complainers. I don't want the painters to have to listen to complainers. That's from, from, uh, from employees and customers. You know, around here, if you complain, you're gone. That doesn't mean you can't come in the office and, and bring something up or talk about it. That means that, um, you know, you don't want to call up Tracy in the office or you don't want to come storming into the office and say, my check is wrong, this is, this is bull crap and I'm not going to put up with it anymore. Well, that's, that's not the way to go about things. Um, that's not how we, we treat anybody else, and we don't expect to be treated that way. That doesn't that mean that we can call up and, and yell and scream at the lady in the office um, because you're having a bad day. You would be terminated. Um, we just don't want to live with that. So complainers are gone. What are we looking for in an interview? I'll tell you, the first thing I do after we do a background check, we would always do a background check that you consent to, is I go to your Facebook page. Guys, please. If you do one thing today, is go on your Facebook page and take down things that aren't appropriate. Um, I mean, I, I could tell you stories this week, but I don't want to because people probably know who they were. I've seen, um, you know, drug use, um, racial, uh, 
insensitivity, um, cursing, which isn't bad. I mean, we're in the construction business, but to put it right up on your Facebook page, um, cursing and, and gestures and things like that, um, it's just not what we're about. If I go to your Facebook page and you have, you know, a picture of uh, drugs as your as your uh, profile picture, we don't want you here. We just don't. So I, I'm telling you that to anybody out there, any kids, anybody in college, any high school kids, go check your Facebook pages, your Twitter, your Instagram, and take that crap off because I'm telling you, people check it out. All right. So when we're hiring, that's what we're looking for: good people. We want them to share our values. We want to be happy, and we don't want complainers. Remember, complainers are gone. Mm-hmm.